Okay, good morning. So I got the one stump out there. It was about all I could do to lift it. And that one was kind of hollow in the center. I'm thinking these other two, I don't see any hollow in them. They're not rotten. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to lift them. <coughs> so Matt's coming in with the big cable and a shackle. And when I get them out, we may have to drag them out there. So I think I've got all the roots cut on this side and the other side and over there next to the driveway I've cut that out and I don't think I have anything left there but it seems like I got to go all the way around these big old son of guns to get them out they're they're in there so I'm trying to dig as close as I can under it to undercut it to make it easier for me to tip it over so this uh, house right here is an Airbnb uh, the guy rents out you can find it on Airbnb and uh, Verbo I think it is doesn't look like much from the outside but it's a very nice house on the inside Okay, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna swing in here. Miss that pump house. And there's a little valve box there. There's supposed to be a water line in here, but I haven't hit it and I don't want to. He says no big deal, he'll repair it. But I said, you know, I'd rather not repair it. I'd rather not hit it. I was hoping if I dug around that other side I could get this out, but I'm not sure. And I got this fence here. Let's see if I can finish getting it out of here. I like to tear it out. And then there's a pile of scrap iron there that the previous owner wants to save. I said, you want me to just bury that? <laughs> no, no, the previous owner wants it. Anyway, all that machinery junk out there and buildings and stuff belongs to the guy he bought it from. And uh, there, I got it out. So I'll see if I can drag it back here. So Jake's got the backhoe and he's off uh, putting in another pipe for a farmer. And then Matt's coming in with a cable to help me because I think we're probably going to have to drag these two other two stumps. So the 336 is uh, throwing the check engine light. Jake called the dealer and through product link, that's pretty cool stuff. They looked at it and said it's a interruption to the, EMS, to the ECM and uh, they don't have a fix for it yet so it must I don't know who else has experienced this there must be a problem he said check the wiring and stuff but we don't see anything wrong so they said they could come down and reflash it or do something to maybe get the, the check engine deal to go away it's not on right now but I it will be later, I'm sure. Okay, so I got that iron there. I need to, I gotta scoop it out of the way or something. Uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna lose it all if I start digging on this one. I'm not going down there to move it all by hand, thank you very much. Okay, so 
I better not dig that one yet because I'm going to need this one out. I'm going to need somewhere to swing through here to get rid of the dirt. And as you can see, I don't have... This is going to be tough here unless I move out. And I just I didn't want to hit that water line. So, we're going to do surgery here. Try Boy, I got something there. See those roots coming up? Maybe I should have brought the 14 over here. Rammed it and ate the gear. <laughs> okay. Working around these trees and stuff, you kind of really have to keep your eye on those auxiliary hydraulic valves out there. You break the handles off. We've taken the handles off just for that reason. Um, we broke them before. The water line. I bet it is. Got here now that's it's a plastic one that's metal uh, all right well let's see let's get rid of that scrap iron scrap iron
effing big that is. Look at the size of it. It's insane. Alright. Okay, we're working on the last tree now. me to just take this shit and dump it in the hole here. So I'm going to oblige you. Without taking the shed with it. see what it does I got quite a bit more stump on this one a lot more leverage it's either gonna break this off or she's gonna pull it I think she's gonna come she is oh yeah here we go well, maybe not oh she's working on it around here okay here we go come on I have to get closer Jeff the cat 336 rated for this <laughs> I don't like this mostly I'm just crawling because I'm just worried about the stress it's putting on the boom because I'm heavier on the stump end than the other and I'm worried about it twisting the boom so I'm going at a snail's pace here just to crawl and This is D9 work. Dig it out with the excavator, drag it off with a 9. I think it takes me twice as long to get out here to dump it as it does to dig it up. how far I can go out before I tip over. You're right there. Here we go. That's it. That's it. Right there. Okay, that's it. That's all the farther we're going.
Okay, I gotta go take another one out over here. Not a very big one, I don't think. I'm uh, done with uh, digging up all the tree stumps and moving them. I got one more project he wants me to do. And that's move this great big brown metal whatever the hell it is. giant roundy thing they've hired the Peterson boys to do that hey Lex Trevor Peterson boys I'm over here on your job I'm hauling your iron off Better get over here before I get it all. <laughs> so I'm not filling the hole up there at the house. I had to dig out that last stump because he's going to get his kids in here. I'm going to clean up all these roots and throw them in the hole. And he's got a little loader and uh, got a farm tractor and uh, he'll push the dirt in. Anyway, he's going to take me to go get the grader so I can grade his driveway here where I messed it up. And I got a little great mountains field to do. And remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy.